Hey guys, this is Dr. Rat. That I have another A. I created video for you. Let me know how you feel about these videos. I seriously will listen to your thoughts. Item number SCP 1127. Object class Safe Special Containment Procedures. Instances of SCP 1127 identified outside of containment are to be investigated. By MTF Mu 53, Ebert's Thumb. Physical copies of SCP-1127 are to be seized, and digital copies are to be captured on secure encrypted recording media before being neutralized. Any victims of full SCP-1127 exposure must be evaluated to determine if the effects of SCP-1127 have rendered them an unacceptable threat to the general public. Those deemed an acceptable risk are to be treated with Class A amnestics and released. Note, amnestics have no effect on the symptoms of SCP-1127 exposure. Those that cannot be released back into the population will be reclassed as D-class personnel or terminated. At the site director's discretion, contained copies of SCP-1127 are to be kept in the secure media vault at site redacted. Instances of SCP-1127 shall only be viewed on devices approved by the site director within site redacted secure viewing room. Instances of SCP-1127 shall only be viewed in their entirety by D-Class subjects as part of an approved experiment. Foundation personnel should avoid unnecessary exposure and log any incidents of viewing SCP-1127. Any personnel who have logged over 15 minutes cumulative lifetime viewing of any version of SCP-1127 must cease working with SCP-1127 and be assigned to other duties. Description. SCP-1127 is a series of short films ranging between 23 and 42 minutes in length. To date redacted copies of three different films have been recovered and one film has been identified but not yet contained. The films have been designated SCP-1127-1, SCP-1127-2, SCP-1127-3 and SCP-1127-4. It is unknown how many more films in the SCP-1127 series have yet to be identified and recovered by the Foundation. Each film is composed primarily of scenes clipped from other movies and shorts, with additional video from various other sources. Sound and dialogue has been added or modified, and a narrator character unique to each film appears. Fully integrated into the clips comprising the film, regardless of the original source of the material, the narrator provides commentary and occasionally interacts with objects and characters within the recycled footage. Anomalous properties present after a cumulative 20 minutes of exposure to the contents of any single film in the SCP-1127 series. Effects do not present when audio and video are perceived separately. Each film in the series produces a different effect in the viewer, but in each case the effect is a permanent disruption in normal behavior patterns altering emotional reactions to various stimuli. Description of SCP-1127-1 Initial Appearance SCP-1127-1 first appeared on Redated at the Data Expunge Movies 10 Cineplex in Data Expunge, New York. SCP-1127-1 had been inserted into the first half hour of Redacted. Exits were blocked by persons unknown, and approximately redated people were exposed. Length 23 minutes title were Clowns Always Yellow, Number 5 Narrator, a middle-aged man wearing a SS uniform including a holstered pistol. His face is obscured by elaborate clown makeup identified video sources, The Sound of Music 1965, The Night Porter 1974, The Day the Clown Cried 1972, Surf Nazis Must Die 1987 Redacted. Archival footage from the World War II era sample narration when our lives become the joke, humor becomes a war crime. The punchline is always death, and to get it is to abandon the pretense that getting it matters. Laugh at the reality that is laughing at you, narrator draws his pistol and shoots redacted in the back of the head. Effects from exposure, after exposure to SCP-1127-1, subjects will generally consider it the most humorous thing they've ever seen. Afterwards, subjects will express disturbance and disgust at any communication normally intended to be humorous. Most jokes will be seen as offensive, and videos of comedians or comedies will cause distress or revulsion. One D-Class subject had to be physically restrained when shown an episode of Monty Python's Flying Circus after exposure.
Conversely, communication that might normally be cause of distress prior to exposure, autopsy photos, graphic war footage, videos of public suicide, will be seen as amusing or funny conclusions. Victims of SCP-1127-1 exposure are deemed safe to re-enter the general population. After administration of Class A amnestics, description of SCP-1127-2 dot initial appearance. On Redacted, a copy of SCP-1127-2 was uploaded to Redacted. Calm and registered Redacted views before exposure was contained with a DMCA notice. Foundation agents tracked the origin to a proxy server in Guam. Investigation continues as to its origin. Length 37 minutes. Title Crazy Where You Are Number Zero Narrator. A female child, approximately 12 years old, wearing a blue dress and a black domino mask. She carries a teddy bear that she slowly dismembers with a small knife during the course of the film. Identified video sources, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, 1971, A Three Stooges Short, They Stooge to Conga, 1943, Faces of Death, 1978, La Planète Savage, 1973, Redacted, Various animated sources from 193X until 196X including Bugs Bunny Nips the Nips, 1944, The answer, or is it the question? Ask the question you are afraid of. You already know the answer, pain doesn't hurt. Effects from viewing, after exposure. Subjects will generally express no strong emotional response to SCP-1127-2 at all. Subjects also lose interest in emotional connections to things, activities, and people they had prior to exposure. Subjects will also react to dangerous and hostile environments with disinterest to the point they will ignore immediate threats. To their personal safety, subjects also express a marked decrease in empathy and may injure or harm others out of curiosity. Conclusions Victims of SCP-1127-2 exposure are unsafe to re-enter the general population due to the risk they pose to others. Description of SCP-1127-3 dot initial appearance during redacted time. An illegal UHF transmitter off the coast of redacted. Michigan broadcast a loop of SCP-1127-3 for approximately 72 hours. Foundation involvement occurred subsequent to cessation of broadcast. Redacted people were found to be affected. No copy of SCP-1127-3 has yet been recovered length 30 minutes approximate. Title all comes with yesterday number X narrator. A woman approximately in her mid-30s wearing an Elizabethan ball gown. She wears a metallic golden mask in the form of a rat's face when she is in profile. The mask appears to be stitched to the side of her head. Some blood is visible identified video sources Robocop 1987, Eraserhead 1977, The Ten Commandments 1956, Natural Born Killers 1994, Dawn of the Dead 1978, <sighs> Apocalypse Now 1979, Sample Narration, Monotone point three second beat between words. Desire, aspire, require, conspire, acquire, retire, expire, choir, pyre, liar, liar, liar. Liar continues saying liar for several minutes. Effects from viewing after exposure. Subjects express an extreme discomfort with technological artifacts. They dislike any object that has been machined, processed, or otherwise manufactured. This applies not only to things generally considered technological, but to almost anything that is the result of human intervention in the environment, including clothing and anything beyond the most simple tool use. This effect extends to abstract concepts as well, in particular the concepts of money, personal property, and political organization. Conclusions, victims of SCP-1127-3 exposure pose little danger, but are unable to reintegrate into modern society. After administration of Class A amnestics, any individuals to be released must be placed in an institutional environment or be relocated to redacted, where they can be assimilated into the redacted population. Description of SCP-1127-4. Initial appearance, from redacted to redacted, X copies of SCP-1127-4 had been inserted as a special feature onto DVDs stocked at the redacted adult bookstore in redacted, Canada. X copies had been sold, all recovered. X individuals were exposed to SCP 1127 force full effect length 42 minutes title. Why are you crying? 
Number one narrator, male in his early 20s, shirtless, wearing black leather pants and a leather mask obscuring his face. As the film progresses, welts and bruises appear on the narrator's torso without apparent cause. Identified video sources, Cremaster 3, 2002, Dog Redacted, 1971, A Dirty Shame, 2004, Lolita, 1962, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, 1975, Salo Olo 120 Jornate di Sodoma, 1975, Redacted, various videos available on the internet including Redacted. Sample narration, do you want to close your eyes and run to mommy well run to her then run to her and tell her all those sick things. That make you want to puke and whip it out and jerk off while the warm shit smears across your naked skin and she'll kiss it and make. It all better because mommy knows what you want what you always wanted and she'll give it to you hard if you only have the balls to. Ask cause mommy loves you and love ain't nothing but sex misspelled, effects from viewing after exposure. Subjects will no longer be able to attain sexual arousal as they would have prior to exposure. Anything they would have found erotic or stimulating prior to exposure will become, at best, an object of disinterest. And occasionally it will become a source of revulsion instead, the subject will have acquired new, and apparently random, subjects and or actions they consider erotic and or stimulating. All subjects lose the ability to be stimulated by fantasizing or use of pornography and must actively engage in their acquired fixations in order to become aroused. New sexual interests may be relatively benign, sadomasochism, coprophagia, acrotomophy, 